Okay, back to English. Uh, what are we doing? We're gonna take uh, we're gonna take the next forty five to an hour. Um, well, let's see. We'll take till four. It's three thirty now. Four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty. We'll go back. We'll come back, and you'll have an hour to work on this assignment. But I want to explain the assignment to you so you know what you're supposed to be doing. This is exercise number two, the last exercise for today. Again, it gets uploaded into the EMS sometime before Tuesday evening. Um, and this one is actually kind of a fun one because then you can start looking for jobs and stuff like that if you want to. Uh, so I'm going to go through the assignment. We'll take a look at it. And then when we come back, at, when, when, we, when I regroup the lecture at 4, at, uh, 4 30, we'll go for uh, an hour ish. And I just want to introduce the first part of the SQL stuff to you. Um, I, might, I might actually decide to cover other stuff before I do the SQL stuff. Just a little bit of concluding lecture for the day and then tomorrow we'll focus on SQL. And the assignments, uh, activities we'll be doing tomorrow will be writing SQL statements. So it'll be a slightly different nature. So trying to break it up, trying to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, but it's, for some strange reason, eight hours a day seems like a long time. <laughs> and maybe it's not some strange reason. Maybe it just is a long time. It, it just seems like a long time. All right, but we're almost done. We're almost hitting the home stretch. In fact, one more day left, and then we've got the entire half of the class over with. So maybe that long time's worth it. I don't know. All right, so this uh, second assignment, last assignment for today, you're going to go back through and use those Oracle Essential lectures again, those mini lectures, uh, same as before as the previous assignment, but you're going to be answering some questions. And the questions that you're going to be answering are going to be primarily found on the internet, actually. They're, going to, they're not going to be, most of them are not going to be found in those many lectures. The first one, you can find a lot of this stuff in there. This next one here, as an example, assume the target audience is this class. Create documentation that will explain in a step-by-step -step manner how to back up an existing database. Oh, how to recover from a crash. Tools available from Oracle or third parties for these tasks. Which means you can, if you're familiar with Oracle, you've used Oracle before, there's a tool that you've used that's part of Oracle, and this refers to these tasks, refers to these tasks here. You can talk about the Oracle features for database backup. However, if you don't have Oracle installed, you've never seen Oracle before, you go on the internet and find out third-party tools that work with Oracle for backups. And talk about and just briefly give a step-by-step, -step, you know, here's what you're going to do. You're going to install this program, you're going to take this program, and you're going to run a backup a daily, or you're going to set it automatically. And you can base your analysis and your step-by-step -step off of the instructions that are given for the program. You can look at the, you, can, you don't have to download and install the program, but take a look and explore through some existing backup utilities, open source, paid for ones, Oracle related, not Oracle related, anything is open range. So if you wanted to back up a database, how'd you do it? Or if you wanted to recover from a crash, how would you do it? What's available out there? So again, it's kind of like another one of those um, scavenger hunt kind of things. You guys know what I mean by scavenger hunt, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, as kids, you guys do scavenger hunts? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, you're international students. I don't know if you know scavenger hunt. <laughs> Actually, I recently discovered international students didn't know Reader's, Di Reader's Digest version. They're like, what is that? You guys familiar with Reader's Digest? Yeah, 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 you know that. Okay, good. So I give you the Reader's Digest version. That's the short version. <laughs> All right, well, you guys are, okay, maybe it was just the group I had at the time. It wasn't this group. It was a long time ago. They're like, Reader's Digest. It's kind of like Rolodex. You guys heard of Rolodexes? No? Oh, see, that's a new one then. Rolodex, it's like, it's, it's the address book of the old days before technology existed. It was this round wheel that sat on your desk and you rolled it around and it was three by five cards or smaller cards in there and you put people's names and addresses on them. It's a Rolodex. <laughs> Alright, now I'm dating myself. Okay, so number one is all about backup and recovery. Number two, report on some available employment opportunities for Oracle DBAs. Include such things as how many opportunities did you find? Approximate. I found 1,122. Go to some of the, you know, it, these can be opportunities for internships, opportunities for jobs, opportunities, you know, basically just do a little market analysis, see what kind of jobs are out there, what are the job descriptions, what platforms are they are most popular, by platforms is it Unix, Linux, 
Uh, are they looking for uh, Windows people? Those are the, the operating system platforms. In what part of the U.S. did you find most of the opportunities? Or maybe it's not in the U.S. Maybe it's outside of the U.S. Did you find it? Uh, what are the required qualifications or the salary ranges? Uh, any other interesting facts or observations? So you're basically doing, and you're just going to write it up. You don't have to sit here and go, A, how many opportunities have I found? I found five. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Uh, what were the job descriptions? Let's see, number one was, you know, <laughs> you can actually put them all in one paragraph if you want. Just give me a paragraph, at least a paragraph, three or four sentences to say, hey, I found a lot of jobs for Oracle and they were all in the U.S. in this country, or they were all in the state of California and they required three to five years of experience and uh, whatever you found. So you're just doing a, a little bit of research to find out what kind of jobs are out there in the area. You can also base it on uh, internship opportunities. Maybe some of you want to work and get yourself a CPT or something like that in that area or something. Then you know, look for look for those. Report on that if you want to. Whatever your dependent, whatever your interests are. So it's kind of a fun exercise, which is why we can probably get it done by 4:30 ish. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just upload it by Tuesday night. Questions about the assignment? Okay, so let's make sure we're not too loud in the room, but at 4.30, I'm going to start in with my very last lecture for the day, and it's going to be like maybe an hour or less. So. Hold out, we're almost done. <laughs> come around the home stretch. And then you can also come up and ask me questions or drag me out there, and I can answer questions for you. I can preview work, and you can say, is this what you wanted? I can say yes or no. Most of the time, a lot of you guys are doing good stuff. So everything I've looked at, most of it, 99.9% .9 of it's all been a yes. So I've only seen a couple of things where it's like, eh, don't do that kind of thing. But most of it's most of it's good. So you can at least guarantee yourself a good grade in the class. So okay, how about it?